one more song. This has been a lovely experience. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I tell you, man, um, I just, I learned more being here at Sundance. Uh, not really the films, I haven't seen any yet, but um, I've learned, you know, sometimes a place brings you to itself to teach you something. And I, I think I learned more here in the last couple of days than I have in the last five years. And I'm really grateful for that experience. And so, um, uh, yeah, man, I'll just play you one more song and thank you so much for being here. Very kind. Uh, <laughs> Um, actually, the, the true story about music and me is that when I came from my country, um, I didn't know uh, the impact that the experiences would have. Because when you leave uh, a, a, a turmoil and a, a personal past that's very difficult, you don't know that uh, it has a, its own life inside you, you know? And so eventually I was diagnosed with what's called uh, post-traumatic stress disorder uh, when I was 16. And I didn't speak English yet, really. And, uh, and I, I basically learned English in order to write through this trauma. And those were my first songs. Some of them I played tonight, uh, today. So yeah, that, I think that was really the, the reason. It was like a necessity, kind of. Born to a throne, stronger than Rome. Violent prone, poor people zone, but it's my home, all I have known, where I got grown, streets we would roam, out of the darkness, I came the farthest, among the hardest survival, learn from these streets, it can be bleak, accept no defeat, surrender, retreat, so we throw the such a beautiful, vivid description of American, uh, African American life. And uh, the way they get it. It's not just African American, but anything that is happening. And he described this so well. So I mean, it actually gave me courage. So they were, in the English language, if you can describe it this way, I can probably not describe my own work. The music I make, I would describe it uh, like me. I just write myself into song. So many wars, settling scores, bringing us promises, leaving us poor. I heard them say, love is the way, love is the answer. That's what they say, but look how they treat us. We fight their battles, then they deceive us Try to control us, they could unhold us Cause we just move forward like buffalo soldiers It's a, it's a beautiful uh, reaffirmation of like, why you make music Cause I, I'm in front of an audience that's you know, kind of close to me and touch me, touch me. And they're moved, I see it. And they're from different walks of life, different age groups, races, and it's still different. And you can just see how they're collectively moved. It makes you feel it makes you feel like it's worth making music. I think that's what I was taking away from. As an artist, you constantly challenge yourself about your relevance and about why you want to make music. So I don't always have the answer to that. Because when I do these things, it helps.